So if I was to put my compass down at work, I've got that app on my phone where it shows me the direction. Yeah, but so you pray at work? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. When you pray, what do you pray for? No, I, it, there's a set prayer. There's like five daily set prayers, which I do at set times, like sunrise, uh, lunchtime, afternoon, evening, and nighttime. Fajr, Dhuha, Asa, Maghrib, and Isha. They're the five daily prayers. You, found, but a piece of that. you know what? I'm st- I couldn't be any other way. I couldn't live any other way now. Now I found Islam. I couldn't. I, I couldn't dr- drift and w- wander a little bit, but I couldn't be any. I couldn't live another life because I would just break. I just. I just. I just couldn't function because the inner peace that I get from knowing my God and my Creator and worshiping my God and my Creator the way He's legislated, it, it just. It just fulfills me completely. All the mistakes that I make in my life, that fulfills me. I make mistakes, bruv, on a daily, on a daily. And I say things and I do things and this and that. But the peace that I have knowing that, I, that I've found Islam and found Allah, is in, it's uncomparable to drugs, drink, women, this, this, this. It's just nothing compares. Nothing. I've done my fair share. I'll be honest with you. When I was younger, I've done my fair share. I've popped more pills than I care to mention, you know. But... Nothing makes me happier than just praying or knowing, or just knowing daily that I'm a Muslim. That's it. You know what? That's quite a nice spirit, Victor. Yeah, nothing yeah. makes me happy. I joke and I laugh at work and, and in the gym and in the other places, but when it comes down to it, it yeah. yeah, that's how I feel inside. That's my, yeah, that's that's my yeah. belief. We call it in Arabic, Iman. That's oh, my so Iman. You can. Who's yeah. stopping you? Who's stopping you? The, the atrocities. Listen, there's always going to be atrocities, there's always going to be wars, and it's, always, and, and it's heartbreaking. And you feel it, I feel it, anyone with any compassion feels it. But that's not the fault of the religion. There's no religion that says go and kill the baby or go and kill the innocent person. You know what, let, let, let me explain to this, because people say this all the time. If there was a God, why is there death? Why is there cancer? Why is there war? Right. But imagine life is a massive big screen with a, with a film on it. Now, f- screens are made of pixels, aren't they? Imagine that we are so small, our little brain, our little life, we are so small, our comprehension is that we are looking at one pixel. But God, he's standing back as if it were, and he can see Everything. the whole picture, the whole story. He wrote it, he created it. He knows the past, present and future because he created time and everything in it. So we only have an understanding. There's things that we don't know about our own finger or our own life, you know what I mean? So how do we expect to understand them intricacies? It's not possible. So I just know that there's a bigger plan and I trust the plan. Even if I died, even if I, God forbid, they said you've got a terminal illness, you're going to die in six weeks. I've got kids. I don't want to leave my kids, but that's God's plan. And I trust God's plan, you know? Alhamdulillah, I trust it. You know what I mean?